Well, good morning. We're sitting here and I hate doing jobs like this. But uh, this particular tree right here is barely hanging on. And uh, basically it's right in line for falling on this structure right here. Then we got this situation right here where the uh, root ball just popped out of the ground. And that's kind of the situation we're looking at right here. Really dangerous. This tree right here, I don't know if you can get a glimpse of it. It's, I don't know, it's good about three feet across. So, not good. If something happens, this house is going to be taken out. But anyway, we got the 60 ton Grogan coming in. Help us out. And uh, hopefully we can get a, a safe extraction. First thing we gotta do is we gotta be able to make sure that we can get all of our equipment, support equipment, to where it can get to the tree safely. So what we're doing right here, we're gonna have to remove a few of these limbs. So this bucket truck can get up in there and this is where he's gonna be doing a lot of rigging out of. So what we're doing here, we're just trying to get access to have this truck, get, have this truck right here, to have unrestricted access. So we're just having to delam this tree right here, and then we position the crane up, and then, like I said, he'll service this tree, put the buckle, tack in this tree in the bucket truck. So. As you can see, this is our tree that we're going to take down. And I would say it's about 128 feet according to the meter. So, nice sunrise anyway, right? Okay, look, look at everything positive. Beautiful sunrise. Dogs are barking. Chill. Yeah. right here we're gonna put one of the uh, supporting ropes in right here we're just trying to get to the tree but it's just so covered in ivy guys get that ivy all over your tree cut them off it's basically a bull constrictor it kills the trees Okay, well, we now have the buckle safely up in the top of the tree. So now we just gotta work on safely extracting the top and gotta go from there. 